Hi, this is Patrick O'Hearn doing my 360 degree spot community video. I'm here at the Sand Hill Habitat Restoration at Bulwer Springs and Sweetwater Preserve and um, I'm going to be going over my Sand Hill uh, ecosystem. The Sand Hill ecosystem occurs at well-drained sites that feeds water to lower land ecosystems. This ecosystem is dominated by longleaf pines and the understory is virtually void of shrubs and is covered by grasses and herbs. The Sand Hill ecosystem is mostly found in the Panhandle as well as inland in north central Florida. One important factor that maintains the ecosystem is fire. <clears throat> uh, before human settlement slowed down this process, fires generally started from thunderstorms and burned every three to five years. The semi-regular forest fires kept most of the native hardwoods in check, allowing shade tolerant pine leaf seedlings to thrive. Pines in the Sand Hill ecosystem were able to survive the fires due to their thick bark and thick mass of needles. Fires were able to spread quickly through, through the Sand Hill ecosystem due to the abundance of dry wiregrass and pine needles. The soil is sandy and loose, allowing water to move easily through the forest community and into groundwater supplies. Another factor that allows water to move easily is the topography of the ecosystem. Sand Hill ecosystems are generally at higher elevations than other ecosystems, which allows water to flow easily into these other ecosystems. Plants that commonly occur are turkey oak, blue jack oak, southern red oak, live oak, longleaf pines, and gopher apple. Common animal species are the gopher tortoise, the red-bellied woodpecker, the loggerhead sh shrike, the cotton mouse, and the fox squirrel. Many of the native Sand Hill ecosystems have been altered for commercial, residential, and agricultural uses. For the ecosystems that still exist or have been protected, humans maintain them through regular prescribed burns. So, um, and you can kind of see that up here, especially on this tree, you know, th this evidence of these prescribed burns and, um, you know, just kind of everywhere. And then the, you know, these are, these are fire tolerant trees. So towards the top where the fire doesn't reach, it's, it still begins to thrive and it still begins to grow. And um, I mentioned before that what really kind of provides you fuel for the fire are these really dry pine needles and um, as well as some of the wire grass. You can find that right over here. So yeah, this is a really good example and a really good habitat restoration going on here. And from my understanding, it's going pretty well. So that's, that's a really good thing. And um, yeah, and these are some, obviously some of the longleaf pines. That was kind of like the main goal. And um, yeah, it's the, the understories, like I said, not, not too thick. You know, it tends to get burned off with the fire unless there's a fire tolerant plant. But yep, that's my Sand Hill ecosystem. And I hope you guys have a great day. All right, I just also wanted to add on to my Sand Hill community. Um, found some of these gopher apples actually. And um, one of them looked like it had been munched on, and now I can't find it, but yeah, there you go. Gopher tortoises love to eat on, on that, and some wiregrass right here. So, very good example of a sandhill community.